British Guy and welcome back to my playthrough of Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake. Now in the last episode we made contact with Kyo Marv, however he was speaking in Czech and Snake doesn't understand Czech and even Madnar didn't understand him so we have been sent to find Gustava who we have been told will be hanging around the women's toilets by Madnar. So we are off to find her so that we can communicate with Kyo Marv. Let's get underway. Right, so we're up on this roof. There's the pigeon with the note. So let's go back and find Gustava. Or key cards if we go on. Four. Right, okay. So we might be able to open a few more doors in the first building. I'll go and have a look and see what we can find. First up, let's put my ration back on just in case I bump into anyone. And down the very, very long lift. All the way. Third the way now. Oh. At least with the ladder scene in Snake Eater, there was a song playing in the background. This you just get the boring normal music. That's what I'm calling it. That's its name. Um, right, where am I? I'm on the middle one. Oh, okay, okay. How we go? Where do we get the first pump in the song? No, there's no one there. Good. I'm coming from up there. Lovely. So no one at all, and then, oh, three guards really, really close together. Here's the third one. Come on. Quicker than that. There we go. And gone. Great system you got there, guys. Let's all just follow each other, shall we? So we should be outside the front. Oh, God. All that clever... Carefulness. Carefulness? Something. Alright, you guys. Oh no, we're gonna get the weird squeaky sound, aren't we? Aha! Come on, someone walk past me. Go walk up, up, go up, go up. Walk up. Come on. Oh. I don't know why I'm bothering doing the clever stuff, the really careful stuff, because they just... Oh, oh well, this is going to be good. Ow. I cannot stand up. How are they not blowing themselves up? Yeah. He blew himself up. Ow! Stop hurting me! Come on, next one. Bring it on. Bring it on. Come on. Gotcha. Right, normal service has been resumed. Sort of. Uh, crash it. Uh, Get okay, first building. So I should have a few more doors open to me because of my keycard. Camera that could kind of probably 
see me. Well, just because you might be annoying and getting away, so I nearly got seen by the camera. Up you go. You shouldn't use the analog stick for this, it really doesn't work very well. Use the D pad, that's what it's there for, you fool. Whoop. Oh, nearly, nearly, nearly. Way round. Okay. Boom. I don't think there's anywhere else on here to look. Guarded man, are you coming over here? Or are you just gonna stand there? Oh, you're going down there. Aha! Woohoo! Another ration. Lovely, 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 lovely. Open as well. Mm. Oh, you don't open. Ah, oh, but you do open with that. You. Oh, there's a mouse thing there. Can I get to that? Uh, that one. Oh, that's not good. My dude's coming up. Uh, I'm gonna be seen. Come on. Not sure what I can do with the mouse. That was a weapon, is it? A dummy robot used to disable noise mode. Press square button to dispatch. Okay. I guess. Uh, let's have some. Oh, and you're coming up that way. Don't know what way you're going. Oh, not another one. Why are there so many guards in this fortress? It's almost like they don't want me getting to things. who use guns? Well, shut up. I need this gun. I need it for killing people. So, I should be able to go through here and here. Kill you, you again. 
again. Wow, that was badly aimed. Can't go through there. Ah, I can go through here. Ah, another mouse. Okay, so that's how you get to that mouse. Um. So that's a kind of point. So that was just to get some mouthies. So we're up to the lift again. So presumably that leads up to there. the mouse I've seen that I can't always open. That leads into the dust chute which leads into there. Oh, is that kind of it then? Okay. Memory serves she's on level 4 anyway. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is all I can do on here. The ladder. Oh, it's not a ladder. It's a lift up the lift to the roof or the first floor. Fourth floor. First floor. Up to the first floor. Wow. Yes. Up to the first floor. Ha ha. Card four works. Ha ha ha. Kill you. Walk past you. Ooh, crossroads. See you at the crossroads, sir. Oh, there's a thing. There's a person. Down you come. Come on, person. You know you want to. Ooh, plants. Lovely. Okay. Seems pointless putting a... The grown-ups always stand at attention when they hear the national anthem. It's one of their weird rules. Oh, there's a weird... I remember this bit. There's a... You have to be really careful, because there's a... Where is it? I could have sworn it in this bit. Hmm, maybe it's not. Okay. I thought there was a bit where the wall was weak and you could punch through it. Oh, not punch through it, blow it up. Maybe it's in this one. Oh, I can't be in there anyway. Stupid key cards. To you. One of these. Is a sword or something? Right, okay, so they're both pretty damn useless. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah. can't see over this low planter. <laughs> it's far too high. There's only one bathroom here. It's on the southeast side of this floor, but I'm too scared to go there at night. Ah, at night. Um, could have sworn there's a weird fake wall here that you need to blow up the C4. Because it's near the kids, because that's the kind of place this is. Let's put really dangerous walls near where the kids are. If you catch a cold, go to the infirmary and they'll give you some medicine. Aha! Alright, oh, this is the dark room. 
Oh, that doesn't work. Uh, I'm gonna need some kind of torch then, aren't I? Oh, okie dokie, let's... I need to go through that dark bit. Why is being so careful? Stealth at least speeds things up a bit. Oh, nice. 
Silent Partner Special, a bulletproof vest that half damage received from enemies only works against bullets. That's fine. I'm only getting shot at by bullets, so that's that's perfectly fine. This ditch is connected to the next building by a jet stream. Oh, okay. Alright. What do you know? The water in the ditch is freezing. You'll catch cold if you stay in too long. Cold medicine. Nice. Hmm. Okay. So this leads somewhere then, doesn't it? One-eyed man said we shouldn't go against the current. Said you can see lots of weird things if you just go with the flow. Up, snake. No, I can't actually get. This is an annoying puzzle you've created here, Kojima. off that corner regardless. Oh yeah. Oh! Oh! 
another building with a jet stream. Ah, cool, that's handy. Where's this blooming torch? Yes, I am friends with the blonde lady. Okay, I have an idea. Hold that thought and I will be back in a second. Okay, bit of a jump there. Basically, what you can see here is me very, very quickly going and getting the night vision goggles from level 3, close to the room where you first fought the black ninja. And I am now back in that dark room with the little girl walking around backwards and forwards and I have got my night vision goggles so let's carry on from there right we put our night vision goggles on we'll crawl under here and go through this door So basically the two of these, the ones that are flashing are the real ones, but they didn't actually give me that opportunity to do anything. Hello, stupid fools. Go away. Someone in here is Gustavo, so I've got to be very careful what I do, who I interact with. Freeze a room, going to be very helpful later. Bucket. And if we hide inside the bucket, 
by the women's toilet, something should happen. This is going to be the weirdest part of any mission at all. Come on, Gustavo. Hurry up. This is the only way to open that door. For some reason. We've already been told as well that there's no women on this base, so quite why they would make a women's bathroom, I'm not really sure. Seems a bit bizarre to me, but there we go. Is anyone coming round? Ah. I can see a dot on the radar screen. Come on. Walk round this way. That's it. Keep coming. Keep coming. And onto screen. Here she is. Ow. That hurt. Gustave Hefner of the STB. And you must be Solid Snake. We're after the same thing. Why don't we work together to stay save Dr. Marv? Have we met somewhere before? Hmm. Typical Western man, always ready with a pickup line. No, now I remember. You're Gustave Hefner, the Ice Princess. You took the gold at the Calgary Olympics. You must be mistaken. I don't think so. I know I have. Enough of this. What about Dr. Marv? I made contact with him over the radio, but he doesn't speak English. Then he's safe. Good. I'm glad he had the surgery to implant the microtransmitter. Snake, lend me a radio. The frequency is 0.40.51. Yep, yep, some more. I'm not going to read all this out because no one can understand it anyway, apart from maybe 1% of the, uh, of the planet. Although, if you are Czech and happen to be watching that, is that translation accurate? I would quite like to know, to be honest. Snake, Dr. Murphy is safe for now. He says there's a large crevice to the north of the tower building. The prison is on the other side. Dr. Marv also expressed concern about Dr. Madnor. Don't worry, Madnor is safe. Right now, we've got to get Marv out of there. Got it? Right. I know a shortcut to the crevice. There's an old sewer running under here. We can take that elevator down. Let's go. Oh, there's an elevator there? What? No. Yeah, just randomly at the female toilets. So there we go, we have met Gustava and we are on our way to save Marv and Madnar. So check out that next section next time. Please let me know what you think of the playthrough as per normal. And I have been that British guy and I will see you very soon. Goodbye.